Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. After threatening fines for nearly two weeks, Indiana House Speaker Brian Bosma announced them all for House Democrats that remain out of the State House beginning next Monday. Starting Monday, any House Democrats without an excused absence will be fined $250 per day. Bosma says he simply had enough. House Minority Leader Pat Bauer says Wednesday he felt like there had been progress towards a return, but after the announcement of fines, Bauer seemed less optimistic. Bosma decided against officially reprimanding the House Democrats Thursday, but said censure might be the next move for Democrats who don't return on Monday. Bloomington Mayor Mark Cruzan used his State of the City address Wednesday night to issue a theme of maintaining and improving livability in Bloomington. WTIU's Alex Roy has more. Mayor Mark Cruzan credits an increasingly diversified economy for Bloomington's economic success and resiliency over the past year, citing an Indiana Business Research Center study which found that out of all Indiana cities, Bloomington suffered the least during the recent recession. Just this past year in downtown, for instance, three new buildings were constructed and 24 were renovated. Unfortunately, six establishments closed for various reasons, but four expanded and 40 new downtown businesses opened. The mayor says negotiations with Indiana University are almost finalized. That would allow the city to purchase 12 acres of land near the Showers building, adding the goal is for the new land to serve as an economic development engine. For WTIU News, I'm Alex Roy. National Weather Service meteorologists say areas of south central Indiana should prepare for flooding as storms move into Indiana over the next few days. NWS meteorologist Crystal Pettit says snow melt in addition to sustained rainfall over last week helped produce the flooding that many Indiana cities battled in recent days. The Indiana Department of Transportation has closed roads in Davies, Pike, Green and Perry counties over the last 72 hours because of low-lying water. And now let's take a look at your weather. Tonight mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of rain, lows in the lower 40s. Tomorrow rain, highs in the upper 50s. Tomorrow night rain, lows in the mid 40s. And looking forward to your five-day forecast on Saturday, mostly cloudy with a 90% chance of rain, highs in the upper 40s, lows in the upper 20s. Sunday and Monday, partly cloudy, highs in the lower 40s, lows in the mid 20s. Tuesday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain showers, highs in the mid 50s, lows in the lower 40s. Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of rain showers, highs in the mid 40s, lows in the mid 40s.